Hello everyone and welcome back to the set 2 of Associativity and Precedence Solve Problems. In this session, we will observe some more previous year questions. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, in this session, we will observe four solved PYQs on determining the associativity and precedence. Observe the first question. Consider the following parse tree for the expression a hash b dollar c dollar d hash e hash f involving two binary operators dollar and hash. So this is the parse tree and these are the options given. I recommend you all to go ahead and pause the video for a moment and read the options. I hope you are done. So basically we have to determine the associativity and the precedence of the operators. Let's begin. So this is the parse tree. Observe, the dollar operators are being derived in the lower levels than these hash operators. So clearly, precedence wise dollar has higher order than hash. Now notice the dollar operator, it is expanding to the left only. Do you remember the session associativity violation and solution in CFGs? There we learned the left recursive production rules restrict the parse tree to expand only in one direction that is left. So for obvious reasons, dollar is left associative. On the other hand, the expansion of the hash symbol is towards right only. So we can deduce the hash is right associative. Let's now examine the options. See, the first option that is A, dollar has higher precedence and is left associative, whereas hash is right associative. Well, this is the correct choice. So this is how, judging the parse tree itself, sometimes we can figure out the associativity and the precedence of the operators. Let's now proceed to the next question. Consider this question. Which of the following expression is represented by the parse tree? So this is the parse tree and these are the options. Starting from the bottom level, this would give us a plus b and from this level, we would get a plus b into c. Now pause the video and take a look. Clearly, option A is the correct choice. Let's now move on to the next question. Given the grammar, so this is the grammar and from these options, we are to find out which one of the statements is wrong. Consider the grammar. It has the non-terminals S, T and U. The terminals or constants are this multiplication operator, this plus operator and this ID. Look at the production rules carefully, especially these two. Both of them are right recursive. So clearly, the operators are right associative. Also, due to this same reason, we cannot expand the syntax tree or the parse tree derivation in both the directions. They will only grow towards the right. So obviously, this grammar is not ambiguous. Now for this grammar, S is the start symbol. So precedence wise, plus has higher priority than into. Because S derives into and T derives plus. So definitely, plus will always be derived in the lower levels than the multiplication operator. So, the grammar is not ambiguous, is correct. Priority of plus over into is ensured, it is also correct. Right to left evaluation of into and plus happens, well the production containing the operators both are right recursive. So, none of these following statements are wrong. Let's now move on to the final question. Consider the following grammar. The start symbol is E. Well, here the start symbol is explicitly mentioned for generating expressions. So these are the production rules of the grammar. With respect to this grammar, which of the following tree is valid Evaluation tree for the expression 
2 into 3 into 4 minus 5 into 6 plus 7. Basically, examining this grammar, we will have to determine the correct parse tree for this expression. Now observe, the start symbol E can be rewritten as T minus E or T plus E or just T. Now in these two production rules, the non-terminal E is reoccurring as the rightmost non-terminal in the right hand side. Clearly, these two are right recursive. Now in here, the non-terminal T can either be rewritten as T into F or F. So in this, the variable T is the leftmost non-terminal in the right hand side. So this rule is left recursive. So the multiplication operator is left associative and has higher precedence whereas the operators minus and plus are right associative and have equal precedence. So this expression is actually is, observe this portion, since into is left associative, so 2 into 3 into 4 would actually be 2 into 3 into 4. Now into has higher precedence than all, so 5 into 6 will also be performed separately. Now minus and plus have same precedence, but their associativity is right to left. So the expression would become this. Now go ahead and pause the video. Try to find out the correct option on your own. Okay, I think we can resume now. Observe, just like the expression in option B, 2 and 3 are multiplied first, then the result is multiplied with 4. Simultaneously, at first 5 and 6 are multiplied, and then the result is added to 7, just like this one. Finally, the subtraction takes place. So option B is the correct choice. So, in this session, we observed four more solved previous year questions on determining associativity and precedence. Alright people, that will be all for this session. With these many practices, I believe now you will be able to solve these types of problems easily. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.